Hello everybody, my name is Erin McGuire and I'm here from Kelowna, BC today. <laughs> oh my god. That's gonna be great. Welcome. Um, I have arrived makeup in place. Um, not because I was scared I was going to scare you, even though that is still completely accurate, but I put together this makeup video in another video. Um, I just won't have time to do this makeup and information dump on you all at once, which I'm really excited to do. I have literally talked about this topic with so many people, um, talk their ears off and they just don't want to hear it anymore. I've literally even talked to guy friends about this and they don't care. They wash like head to toe with a bar of soap. Probably think this is about you, but I know a lot of guys who wash head to toe with just a bar of soap. This is not directed at one person in particular. And still, I think you should at least have like a shampoo in there, but that's just me and let's go on. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about skincare and it all starts off with a bunny wrap. It's meant to be bunny ears, but like, like how is that bunny ears? I guess you can, no. There, it's so subtle and it's pink and that is the first step to good skincare. Okay, so I literally have a buffet of things to talk to you about. That's just, okay, I can't, I can't. Oh, it's not that intimidating. It's just that there are some options regarding where you live and your price point. This is happening. This is happening. Okay. So yeah, there's a pillow shop in the corner. What are we going to do about it? I don't know. First thing that we need to talk about is hydration, which is really boring, but it literally water is the basis of this entire video, including the skincare part, including the products. It all has to do with water and where it's coming from and how it's affecting both your skin from the outside, bringing water towards your skin and also from the inside out. So the first thing, yes, drink enough water, at least two liters a day. That's if you're not being active at all. That's if you're like laying in bed. And if you're sick and in bed, you need to be drinking more than two liters a day. So there's rarely when you should, rarely a time when you should only be drinking two liters a day. If you're exercising, if it's hot out, you have to be drinking probably closer to four, um, three to four. It really depends on what your lifestyle is like. I would also recommend getting a shower filter because that is going to dry your skin right out. It's going to dry your hair out. I've been away from my shower filter for four months and I have a broom at the end here. So three inches are going. Um, shower filter is super important. I really like Berkey, B-E-R-K-E-Y. They have a really good shower filter. They have a really fantastic water filtration system. Um, like I don't have links for most of the stuff. Most of it is not affiliate. This is just information for you. Um, but Berkey water, you can pretty much filter pond water if you know how to use it properly. Like it's amazing. It's just one of the best filters. And I know that since coronavirus hit, people went a little wackadoodle and I think they were sold out for a while. Um, hopefully they're back in stock now. I really don't know, but I've had mine for years and it is a little bit more money up front, but then it is actually more cost effective than a Brita because your filters, depending on how much water you drink, there's a little bit of calculating involved. But for me, I wouldn't have to change my filter for 10 years. So think about that, look into it. I I really like it. I've done the math on all of them. I looked at the quality versus whatnot. I pulled up the data sheets and the Berkey is the one that just keeps coming out on top. If you're worried about fluoride, you can add fluoride filters. You can really, it's really modifiable and there's different sizes for different price points and different needs. So I would definitely go with Berkey. Okay. Another thing, if you don't like those lines on your face in the morning, uh, get a silk pillowcase or at least get a, oh, what is the other one? Satin, get a satin pillowcase. Uh, this one here, I really like it. It's from Dania Down. It's 100% silk. It's a Canadian company and um, 
it's really really good quality and I think they're about $70 so most silk pillowcases are in about $100 um, it's actually one of the least expensive ones you can get alternatively you can get satin pillowcases from Shoppers Drug Mart they look just about exactly the same for $10 side note this is also really really great for your hair S same thing with the shower filter if you have fine hair like I do it just it'll just break right off I wasn't able to grow my hair longer than this but once I got the shower filter um, and this here I stopped getting that the knotting in the back and it, my hair stopped breaking as much and um, it's halfway down my back now actually lower but yeah I have to cut some off because I was away from home for four months I was away from all my all of my fun things um, also at night just a side note for hair use a satin scrunchie and do the pineapple thing on top because that will save you uh, your hair basically that if you're trying to grow it out that's what will save it you can see mine is really fine and I have some breakage in there that is all from the pillow and not having my filter it's okay it'll grow back all right so let's start off with you have a face full of makeup you're cleansing um, and then I'll talk a little bit more about arid climate so here in Kelowna it's pretty much a desert so similar to I don't know what the humidity is like in like California or whatnot but if you have low humidity yes I have been to California it's low humid um it can be low humidity in certain parts it is a desert here four hours west it's coastal rainforest so my entire makeup routine had to get overhauled so I'll show you what I usually do for makeup removal if it's light makeup very very light um, a cream cleanser works really well I use eminence it's coconut cream cleanser it's great just have a little bit of shadow maybe a little bit of light liner that isn't a 24-hour type it comes off quite easily um, if you don't want to ruin your your face cloths I like to use just a cotton pad I'm throwing things and the body shop has a really really amazing gentle eye makeup remover it's like it's liquid um might be more like a my micellar i don't know if i'm saying that right um micellar water type thing but it really removes the makeup really well considering it's water consistency um with that make sure you wash it off afterwards otherwise it will dehydrate so i would go for that one first and then a cream cleanser for your entire face and make sure you hit your eyes um, this does not irritate your eyes at all um, I mean obviously if you were to stick it right in it would but it, it's not irritating it's it's really really fantastic if you have um, a liner like the one I'm wearing now tends to be a little bit more tenacious it doesn't come off as easy I will use the Clinique take the day off cleansing balm just on my eyes um, a really good alternative for this is just coconut oil if you want to go for a lower price point this works slightly better but you just put a little bit of this on a q-tip and just really rub it in where the makeup's not coming off and you'll see how much it can take off it literally it is the consistency of coconut oil it's extremely similar so that's great and super low budget friendly and I've had this for like a year or two like it it lasts a long time um, if you're in a very dry climate like here in Kelowna I will in the winter especially instead of doing the coconut milk cleanser like it's very that's a very very gentle one but I will go for the stone crop cleansing oil um, actually I think most of this it's halfway now but I've lost most of it due to traveling even though I lock it it just spills it just doesn't want to stay in the container but this lasts a very very long time um, and then you just rinse it off it's non greasy well I mean it's oil so you are gonna have like a little bit of residue but you just take a hot face cloth well not too hot cause, you know you don't want anything too hot on your face and you just you just wipe it off and that's it it's nice and dewy and soft and it's really really lovely um, this is one of my favorite brands it's I believe it's made in Toronto Ontario it's called consonant uh, you can order it online and this is one of the foaming ones, so it's one of the, the soap type ones. I really like this. Some days you just really need to clean your face and the the oil isn't gonna cut it and the coconut cream cleanser isn't, it's just not doing it. You really need to cleanse your face. I'll use that. I tend to use that in the shower. I don't know why you're not supposed to wash your face in the shower, 
I know that I turn the heat all the way down. The reason why you're not supposed to wash your face in the shower is because it's too hot for your face. Typically what you use on the rest of your body, it's too hot for your face. From there, I'm gonna take you over to what I do to exfoliate. I have a Clarisonic, I don't really use it. Um, actually, I'm gonna get a new brush for it because I do like it occasionally, it feels really good, but I don't use it as much as I should. Um, I really like Peter Thomas Roth. You can get that from Sephora. It is the Firm Peeling Gel, visibly exfoliates. Like when you put it on, literally uh, like little balls of skin comes off. I think it's oddly grossly satisfying, but yes. Uh, and then my mother gave me this one here. It's Yam and Pumpkin Enzyme Peel. Be very careful with this. It left my face red for about an hour, but it really, really works. It's by Eminence. It smells very, like mild and nice. There's not a lot, there's barely any scent to it. Um, but my face felt fantastic afterwards. Alternatively, you can go ahead and do a mechanical scrub. So there are a lot of really good mechanical scrubs out there. You can even make your own uh, with sugar and like coconut oil. There's a whole bunch of home recipes on there, but a huge thing is you definitely want to exfoliate your face like that is a huge part in hydration is just getting that dead skin off um, with breakouts especially I'll notice that I'll break out on my neck right here and usually that will be because I have less sunscreen on for a couple days and I just missed that area and then you go ahead and exfoliate it especially in here and in, in, in a couple of days that will have cleared up for me okay now let's talk about breakouts on a very mild level say if you um, like I do, I get them if I'm really, really very stressed out, um, I haven't exfoliated properly. Sometimes you just get a random, you know, little pimple. Um, what I do first is I gently exfoliate. That is number one, always all the time, because no matter what you put on top of it, if you haven't exfoliated, it won't reach it. Quite simply, just won't reach it. Um, but I'll show you what I have used in the past. <laughs> I've used Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne. Neutral unit, whatever. I needed it. I was stuck. I used it. Uh, it's just a benzoyl peroxide treatment. It's okay. It's not my favorite. It's a lower price point. Certainly, if it did work. But you usually, I found that just like exfoliating and taking care of the area was what did it more so than that. Um, but I do know people use that. It, there's a reason why they still make it just doesn't work that great for me. Um, what's quite interesting is that what does work for me is putting a retinol based cream on top. Retinol was originally made for acne. Um, I remember calling my mom one day and not knowing that and saying, hey, like I put retinol on my face and it cleared out my acne and she, she's been in the aesthetics industry for 40 years. She goes, yeah, that's what it was originally made for. Like, does anybody actually, did, Okay, who knew? Um, if I have one and I've you know expressed it, I've popped the pimple, put a tiny little bit of tea tree oil on it. This natural factors, antibacterial cleanser, just a tiny little bit, just right on the spot. I will not, <laughs> I have learned from personal experience, I will not put this, uh, I have really sensitive skin here. Uh, if I get a pimple down here for some reason, doesn't happen often, but if I do, I will not put this here because it will leave a burn. So be very careful with this, it can be very, very strong. Um, but I have found that the retinol will, will clear it up. So I have a couple of them. I don't use them often, but I have Paula's Choice. This is for around the eyes. And I have Strivectin Advanced Retinol Intensive Night, Mo Intensive Night Moisturizer. So I'll put a little bit of that kind of off label now, but um, that will clear up those little spots. So first thing, I what I do, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, cool, I got dark circles. So what do you do for that? Um, you can do a couple of things for higher end type thing. This Advanced Lifts Hibiscus, it's really good for bags under your eyes, it's by Eminence. Um, this works very, very well. It's got caffeine in it, it's got wine, it's, it's just fancy, it's just nice. Um, the applicator on that i haven't opened this one yet have used i have used this before this is just a new one um it's a little roller ball and 
it's it's very nice the first few times you use it but then it gets plugged up with the product like how do you clean that i don't know um so i feel like i never get through an entire tube because the little roller ball gets all gross and stuck and then it kind of it just it just pops out so i and it, it's not an inexpensive it is not inexpensive you don't want to be wasting it because the packaging is failing you like it's failing now i'm trying to put it away we'll just put it over there i really enjoy um day and night you can use this it's the the ordinary brand and it's the five percent caffeine solution and i this is so much easier i just put it on uh, day and night if i'm having dark circles and puffiness again that's caffeine so that's the main ingredient it brings blood flow to the area and it just clears out any stagnant blood so i put on the caffeine solution and then i switch over to the face cream this is my go-to all the time i've been using it for almost 10 years um the true science facial cream and this is an mlm company but i mean i'm going to share with you what i use i don't care if you buy from me or not i honestly don't i'm going to keep using this um it, it doesn't matter buy from if you if you mention my vantage to someone they someone you know will sell it so buy from them i really don't care if you buy it from me or not um but this is my favorite it feels so good I use it every day, every night after I wash my face. Um, it's it's good to have one on hand because if you get a sunburn, if you get, it, like, like, I don't know what it is, but it's good for any type of burn. It's like, the, I know burns affect you in different ways and different ways of the skin. Don't worry, this is fine. I just fell off my bike. Um, you. It works for any burn. It will relieve the itching and the pain and it'll heal a lot faster than before. Like it's amazing for sunburns. It's just, it's great. I cannot talk this up enough and there's a lot of science behind it. Um, I could do another video on the science behind it if you want me to, cause it, but it, it is quite technical. I could, I could also just link you to, there's a lot of science videos on it out there. They also have an eye cream, an eye serum. So this is fantastic. I put this on all the way around my eye. I remember it, it got so dry here one winter that like my face felt like it was burning. That's how dry it felt. And I just put that all over my eyes. Like my eyes were getting crepey and I was like 25. This doesn't make sense. So that all over my eyes was great. Um, I needed a bit more of a boost. So I use, um, again, but back to that brand made in Toronto, Ontario. It's really clean, there's no fragrance. I use the Ultra Moisturizing Organic Eye Cream for nighttime. And then for daytime, I use the Ultra Firming Organic Eye Cream. It has a little bit of SPF in it, which a lot of them do not. So around your eye area, like the sun still hits there. So it's important to like, you know, protect yourself if you're not wearing sunglasses. Uh, all the time all day so I do wear that one there but there's a different one for nighttime because the one for nighttime is a bit more hydrating and the reason why I mentioned this a moment ago the reason why I want the one with sunscreen in it during the day is because sometimes at night I will use um, an eye cream that has a bit of retinol in it and you don't want to be using anything with retinol, anything with a skin peel, anything with um, salicylic, uh, acyl, I'm, I'm not going to pronounce that right, but any of the acids, anything that is meant to, you know, activate the skin, you need to wear sunscreen the next day. In the summer, in the winter, it, you have to wear a sunscreen. Otherwise, your skin will age because it makes your skin um, sensitive to the light. So you absolutely, absolutely need to be wearing a sunscreen. And I will talk to you about the ones that I do wear in a moment, but I want to touch on this again. So it took me a really, really long time to find this one and it's quite reasonably priced. I can't remember what it is right now, but Paula's Choice, um, they have a very reasonable, um, for what you get, it's very reasonably priced. Um, the reason why I use this one out here is because it's got ceramides in it. So what that means is once you've put on your 
your eye serum and all this wonderful stuff. So you've got your your moisturizing eye cream for nighttime. You put this on top and the ceramides will lock everything in. So why do you want that when you live in an arid climate? The reason why is because it all has to do with evaporation and water being on your face basically. So you want to keep that hydration on your face. So if it's drier, the water is going to leave your face. So if, you're, if your climate is drier, the water is going to leave your face. It's going to try to escape. So the ceramides help to mitigate that by keeping it in. So it keeps the product you put on your face, on your face, keeps it against your skin instead of your all your hydration just evaporating right out of your face. You do not want that. You want to keep that in there. Um, so that is a very important ingredient to have if you live in an arid climate, you want the ceramides, especially when it's below 40% humidity. I I still do it quite like it, it's 35% here now and I can really feel a difference in my skin from when I'm in Vancouver, which is like, it's, it's always considerably higher, but I also, ooh, I also keep one of these in the house at all times. So this, you can buy these on Amazon. They're great. It's 30, 35 percent humidity in here. I've seen it go down to like 12, 6 percent. It gets extremely dry here. You want a humidifier. Actually, I I kept this out to remind me to tell you about humidifiers. To remind me to tell you. Is that what I said? But you want to know what the humidity is in your climate because if it is low, then you're going to want stuff with ceramides and you're going to want to get a humidifier. Um, if it's high, you don't lucky you don't really have to worry about that but you might break out a little bit more there are other things to look at if you're in a very humid climate but I found it more difficult to find products to work in a humid climate that's why I'm making this video is because my friend asked me about skincare products and I've been thinking about this one for a long time so I was like okay I'm finally just gonna do it um, I'll tell you about some active ingredients and what you need to be careful with if you do live somewhere that is desert like so one of the huge, huge offenders are peptides and hyaluronic acid, and they seem to be in everything. And it sounds so good, and the marketing is so good, and you're like, yes, that is what I'm gonna use. And then you buy it, and then you come out of there looking all crinkly like Gollum, and you don't know why. And, oh, is my eye, am I losing my eyelash? I don't know, I just put these on for the video because I was trying them out, but, um, so you come out with all this crepey skin and you're like, I don't understand why. I bought the hyaluronic acid, I did all this fantastic stuff that I'm supposed to, and maybe I'm just getting older, no. Like yes, we are all getting older every single day, but no, that's not why, it's because you were sold the wrong product. So, so I've made the mistakes for you. Um, anything with peptides or hyaluronic acid, if you live somewhere that's like slightly humid, Oh my gosh, when you wake up in the morning, it feels like there were like dew mister, dewy misters just blowing on you in the night and you wake up and feeling just, just admit you it feels so good. Like holy Toledo, it feels good. That is not what it's like here. You wake up in the morning and you, your face hurts if you're in a dry climate. Um, your face feels tight. It doesn't make any sense. So what happens basically is these trap are meant to trap atmospheric water and hold it against your face. So that's why you feel nice and dewy if you live somewhere that's humid. Um, if you live somewhere in the desert where the humidity is very low, there's no water to pull from, from out there. Like, so it, but the product needs, it needs, it's got little claws. It needs to pull the water from somewhere. So it pulls it from your face. So your, your skin feels drier. It's just the nature of the, the, the product, um, hyaluronic. So these I own, this one is from Eminence. Oh my, it smells amazing. It has a bit of scent to it, sort of strawberry smell. It's not overpowering though. I can't do heavy scents. Um, but this one I can handle. Um, it feels great when you put it on at night and then you put on all your skincare products on top and you wake up feeling dewy. Um, another alternative is the, the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid with B5 lower price point, really great as well. Um, you can still use those here in Kelowna. However, 
you need to know what your humidity is and you have to have a humidifier on otherwise it's not gonna do what you want it to do like i rarely use these here unless i've planned ahead to use them because i specifically want to feel like cinderella in the morning is it cinderella yeah she wakes up with little animals that are dressed i think it's cinderella um anyhow you can still use these just to plan around it i will always bring these down to vancouver with me or whistler i don't typically use them here very often um one little hack is if i'm doing like a delicate load of laundry like my gym outfits i will dry those in my room if i have a shower i will dry my towel in my room close the door so the humidity just goes up because it just evaporates as a towel or just that like you don't want to do it with dirty stuff obviously that's kind of gross but like if your clothing is clean i will evaporate it in my room like i will sorry evaporate it i will dry it in my room so that the humidity is a little bit higher in there and i know what it's going to be like try it a couple times and see if if it works for you and if the humidity does stay up when you do that and then go ahead and use your hyaluronic acid at night if you don't have a humidifier so that's another like that's another hack that i've done many many times as well um so that's sort of the higher end and the lower end version of a humidifier just like dry your laundry in your room also really great to use is some sort of vitamin c on your face it's going to brighten everything up really nicely it just feels good I just use this because it feels nice and I feel like I look a little bit shinier in the morning. So that is also by Eminence. A little bit of oil, it's great. And this one here is rosehip oil. It's very, very high in vitamin C. This is um, the more cost-effective one. Um, they're basically the same thing. Um, this one does not have the vitamin E in it, but rosehip oil is naturally very high in vitamin C. So you can go ahead and use that as well. Um, and then I just always have jojoba oil around. I could just bathe in this stuff. I know you're not supposed to use it if you have like fine hair and it's it's curly. I straighten my hair, so I go ahead and use this in my hair. You can use it on your face. Like it's just a really great um, overall product is jojoba oil. I, I also... I think you might all, I'm not sure if you can only get this in the States or not, the Cleganic one, because I know that I ordered this to my P.O. box when I had a P.O. box in the U.S. Um, however, I know that in Canada, the Jojoba oil brand uh, now is, is probably my favorite, even more than this, even though this is less expensive and it's like bottled in the U.S. and it's great. Um, that one is definitely, definitely my favorite. So but they're both really good. And they're both great for like the ends of your hair, especially if you live in this really, really dry climate, you might just need a little bit more richness. So just see how it goes. Your face is feeling really dry. That's a really good way to go. So we already talked about sunscreen to go around your eyes. Um, these are the two that I typically use uh, for my face. Um, for my body, Eminence makes a lot, uh, or makes, a mineral sunscreen that's really really great i don't i don't go in the sun very much so i don't need a lot of sunscreen for my body but uh they also make really nice sunscreens but my absolute hands down favorite is the perfect sunscreen by consonant skincare again it's made in it's made in canada like you can't go wrong with that that it's really great quality this has lasted me a long time and i use it every day Think about it maybe a year ago. So all I use is one pump. Um, I add a little bit of this True Science Perfecting Lotion to it just to make it a little bit more emulsified. And it goes on really, really nice. Um, the Strivectin, you can get this at any shoppers. It's also, they're both mineral sunscreens. That's all I use are mineral sunscreens because the other sunscreens always seem to irritate my face. I don't know why, but they do. So... I just use mineral and this one neither of these irritate my face at all these are really really great um this one it does it says it has a vanishing tint to it let me tell you it does not vanish it um it's like stained my clothes i've had to walk like it came it came out with a stain remover so it but like that's not vanishing that's uh not vanishing and this is definitely a darker darker skin so i'm quite pale um let me show you when you see them they look like a very similar very similar in color 
but this one here is the opposite of vanishing. I'm telling you, like you will be able to see it on your face. So you have to really make sure that you mix it well. So that is a strivectin one and that is a consonant one. You can see that that there is lighter and I can see this eyelash is just gonna drive me nuts. Um, okay, now, oh, two more things that I did forget about. Um, this one here, spot treatment for acne, it's Life Brand. So you can sometimes find it at Shoppers Drug Mart again. Um, you just put it over top if you have acne. It's just to cover it up a little bit. It has a little bit of medication in it. Like, why not? I use it sometimes. Um, and I know this is not technically skincare. I know this is makeup. However, this is the only eye concealer that I have found. And I've spent a lot of money on under eye concealer because I have those genetic, heckin' lovely oh my gosh what dark circles under my eyes um so i do use concealer every single day just about unless i'm staying home this is the only one that won't leave you looking crispy and flaky and dry i have <laughs> you're gonna think i'm crazy but when i couldn't figure it out i would look at the other girls in my classes at university and look at their under eye and see if their makeup was staying on, how it was staying on. Everybody had that like desert look where it just, maybe it looked nice and dewy in the morning, but then by the end of the day, it just like dried up. I was having the problem too. And on top of that, my skin was so sensitive that it was actually flaking off. It was cute. So even though this is instant age rewind, you're like, I'm in my 20s, I don't need age rewind. This just has more hydration in it. So please use this. Don't get stuck up on like, oh, I've got to be like in my 40s. Use it. No, no. No, no. This is great. And it's a drugstore brand. And I use the stuff from Sephora. Oh, I bought one that was so expensive. It was like $60, $70. And like, it worked pretty good, that one. But this works better and it's like 10 so I don't deviate. I get different colors if I get a bit of a tan, if my tone changes, whatever. But you can have five of these for the same cost as one of the other ones. I don't even remember what it was. I just threw it out the other day, held on to it because it was $60. But um, this is just so much better. All right. So that is my talk on skincare. Please let me know if you have any other questions. I do have some other things that I'll integrate from time to time, but these are the major players right here. Um, obviously I don't use everything every day. I rotate it out absolutely. Um, other than, you know, my True Science face cream and my sunscreen and a little bit under the eyes, depending on whether I've used a retinol or a peeling gel, even this one here. if. This has a, oh, what does it have in it? I've read this before and I realize it does need. I do know, okay, it has enzymes in it. And if you read anything, enzymes, peeling, retinol, acid, wear a sunscreen the next day. Wear a sunscreen within, I think it's three days to a week. I don't know. I wear sunscreen all the time because I rotate them and I'm always using an active ingredient. So you don't want to get hyperpigmentation and sun damage which is the exact opposite of what you're trying to avoid with all of the shenanigans. So I hope that helped. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions. I'm totally happy to answer. I'm guessing that my friends are happy that this is finally out there so I can stop talking to them about it. I love you, all of you. Um, yeah, so this is what I do. Let me know if you have any questions, concerns, I'm always open to learning. I make mistakes too. Um, yeah, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. I am taking names for my little succulent plant over here. I haven't quite decided yet what I'm gonna name it, but it's a he, I've decided it's a he. I mean, and y'all like, no, it is not alive. I can't keep plants alive. We've established this. I have established this many, many times. So I'm not good at the keeping plants alive. 
but I'm good at keeping animals alive. There was a dog over there that is very much still alive. And um, I can tell you about skincare. <laughs> I have my strength. Horticulture is not one of them. Right, well, I look forward to seeing you all next week. I have something great lined up for you, but I'm scared to talk to you about it because I think, I feel like, I think you won't like me if I tell you. Because it's sort of sing sing singling out people who have a certain, who have made certain aesthetic choices, but it's not, it's just information and I've definitely thought about doing those things myself, but now I'm not sure. But I'm gonna give you the information and then you make your decision. I still kinda of wanna do what I'm gonna to talk to you about, but now I'm just more confused. So I'll see you next week and enjoy the last few days of summer, everyone. I hope it was really, really great for you too. All right, bye now. So I'm late for work, I gotta go. Hey, okay. <laughs> so I made it to work on time, just barely. Um, I was just having so much fun with you all. But the other thing I wanted to talk to you about, also about skincare, was the water that comes out of the taps. Here, where I live, it's heavily chlorinated. And the reason why I realized that is because my hands were cracking in the winter, which is kind of normal because it's quite cold, quite dry. But then it was also in the summer and they would start bleeding and it was, it was very strange. Um, didn't quite understand why. However, like I mentioned, I have that Berkey standing water filter next to my tap. So after I washed my hands, I started rinsing my uh, hands off just with a little bit of the water that I purified earlier. And my hands stopped cracking and they stopped bleeding. So something in the water. <laughs> so if you're having that problem, I know other ladies who lived in my building that I worked with would complain that their hands were bleeding um, in the summer and it, it had to have been because of how much chlorine was in the water. So it's something to be conscious of. Conscious of. So if that's happening to your hands, if you're washing your face with that water, um, just grab some purified water. Even if it's just out of the Brita, it's gonna have less chlorine in it. Just dunk it and wipe your face off. So you're just wiping off that chlorine because that's gonna dehydrate as well. If I have time, I'm gonna toss this in. Um, I found one of these. I, I honestly have no idea. It's probably just like a little gimmick. They're called makeup remover cloths. They're from by Quo and they're from Shoppers Drug Mart. And it says a set of two machine washable cloths that remove makeup, oils, and waterproof mascara with just water. I'm so skeptical. So use a large cloth for all over facial makeup remover and use a smaller mitt specifically to target the more delicate eye area. Convenient and easy to use, perfect for travel, 100% polyester. Okay. Ooh. It's just polyester and it's going to take this off? I don't know how messy this is. So I have my purified water here. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I already feel like this is not gonna work. Uh, like it's definitely grabbing, it feels like it's sort of just like pulling the skin. Like you can see it's kind of grabbing some stuff off. But I would definitely not just use this but it's doing a better job than I thought it would. So if that's all you have, it's not the worst, just water. I'm gonna polyester a little bit and But it does feel quite grabby, like it is pulling. My eye area is feeling a little irritated. So maybe with a little bit of um, the body shot, yeah, that's far, far better and it's not, um, it's going through smoothly now, it's not tugging on my eyes. So if you want to save your face cloths as well, you can invest in something like that. Um, I think it was probably around $10 and that that's great because you're also saving on cotton, like you 
don't have disposables. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's little tutorial, sort of the science behind things there. And tomorrow we're gonna dive back into a paper. So enjoy the rest of your evenings or days or whatever you're up to. And I will see you very, very soon.